Here's how to fix audio messages not working on your iPhone. Now, the first step is head into the messages app here. And you can see I'm just texting with myself as an example. You can see right under the blinking cursor, I'm gonna tap where it says the plus here, and I can tap on audio, and it will start to record my voice. And whenever I'm done, I can hit the pause button and hit send. And it should automatically send it as well as transcribe that specific audio message. But let's say it's not sending or when you tap on it, it just doesn't pop up with anything or doesn't work. The first thing I would recommend doing is heading out of here and opening up your settings. Let's scroll down to the very bottom and tap on apps. And then scroll down to the bottom until we get to messages. There it is, tap on messages. Now on here, you can see iMessage. I'm gonna to toggle this off and wait a few seconds and then toggle it back on. And you can see it says waiting for activation. So essentially it reactivates your iMessage. Keep in mind, all of these audio messages can only be done, sent or received through iMessage. So if the other person has an Android phone, if it's a green bubble, then it just doesn't work. Now, the next thing I would recommend doing after we've done that is let's go back out of here. Let's scroll to the top here and you can see accessibility. Tap on accessibility here and then we'll scroll down until you get to sound recognition and tap on this. Sometimes sound recognition can cause issues with you basically leaving that audio message because it's listening for other sounds. So I would recommend turning this off if you don't necessarily need the sound recognition feature, just disable it. After we've done that, let's just go back out of here. We'll tap on general and software update. Just update to the latest iOS operating system. You can see it's currently iOS 18.2.1 and just basically update to the latest version. A lot of times that fixes bugs or glitches with the audio messages because just old one had some kind of glitch in it. After we've done that, let's go back out of here. We'll tap on transfer or reset iPhone and hit reset. Now on here, let's hit reset all settings. It'll bring all of your settings back to the factory default. It won't delete any of your photos, your messages, all that stuff. It will all still be there, but all the settings will just be brought back to the factory default. And this should help to fix it. The last thing I would recommend doing after we've done all of those things is at the very bottom, just hit the shutdown button. You'd be surprised how many times just turning off your phone and restarting it fixes a lot of bugs and glitches on your phone itself. It could have been running for days or weeks without just a proper reboot. So just shut down your phone and then restart it and it should be good to go from there. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys.